Hey, and welcome to Tech Tips. Amanda. I'm Linus. Okay, so today we're actually going to do an install. I'm hoping this is a quick video of the firmware update for the DJI Mini, Mini 2. Mini 2, yeah. These usually go really, really fast, but I know some people are really daunted by updating their, their drones and stuff. Yeah. Uh, a little side note about this drone. You remember we, we got it in November, right? Yeah. And we, we flew it in November and December. And on the few days after Christmas, <laughs> it snowed. And uh, I went out to shoot in the snow and there was a little mishap. And anyway, a car drove over it because they couldn't see it. It's in a so parking small. Lot. So this I got yesterday in the mail. <laughs> Just a, just a thought, everybody, you know, go ahead and get that DJI Care Refresh mm, package. They yeah. didn't even ask any questions. There was a tire mark across the top of this thing. <laughs> Not, that one. Not this one. This is brand new, right? So we've never too even... Too much destroyed. Too destroyed to recover. Too destroyed to recover. Oh, we might actually have to pair this. What? We might actually have to pair this to this to make this work. We've never turned it on before. Really? All right. Well, look, guys, you guys are in for a brand new experience. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Let's see how we pair it. All right. Let's, uh, you start by taking the stickers off. All right. I'll get the handles out. Now, the thing is with the upgrade, there are two interesting things. Some people, like I said, you're scared of updates. With these drones, some of the major things that you get in the updates are actually uh, oftentimes changes in regulations and maps and stuff like that. I know with my Mavic Air, uh, it, oftentimes I got new updates on fly zones when I did the update, as well as some different little fixes in the, in the drone. I was going to mention to you guys, until the drone got smashed by a car, that I was having a weird thing happening with it where sometimes its orientation would change. Oh, I was really? trying to fly under a tunnel. I think we actually have some footage of it flying under a tunnel. Um, and it, it started to drift and go up a little bit, which is terrifying because it was over a river and going through a tunnel over the river. And here I was thinking like, I had Jake on the other side of the tunnel. I was like, can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> and he was like, down to the left, go down left. <laughs> so trying to adjust. Uh, and that, uh, that's supposed to be something that's actually corrected in this firmware. Well, that's good. <laughs> and the other major, the other major thing in this firmware update is the ability to record in sixty frames per second at twenty-seven k. Oh, that's twenty-seven k. <laughs> sorry, two point seven k. Holy cow! Two point seven k. Okay, here we go. Turn on the controller. Yep. So then I'm in the I'm in the fly app. Mm -hmm. Yep. Connect it. Connect. Drones. Should I turn the drone on? Sounds. Hopefully this won't take off and try to kill us. Right. There must be another step though. See, it's looking for it. Put your cable in. Cable? As you were going to fly it. You need a cable to connect them. Where's the cable at? All right, so we're back at it. Here All we right. go. Trying it. Turn on the controller like you normally would. Connect it to your mobile device. So All connect right. to aircraft. Yeah. Okay, it's searching for the aircraft. Pair. Press and hold the power button on the underside of the aircraft for four seconds until the aircraft beats to indicate it's in the pairing mode. Four seconds. One, two, three, four. Oh, it beeps at me. scary. Right? Don't cut my hand. <laughs> <laughs> and then tap pair to pair. It's gonna blow. <laughs> Don't get it. Aircraft checking activation status. Please wait. Activate aircraft will be linked to your account. Yes, please. Yeah. Done. Done. <laughs> now, okay. okay so it's, pro it's prompting me from in here for the update. You don't need to connect this thing to a computer to do a firmware update. You don't need to put an SD card in oh, nice. and download software and then start it up with the SD card in. You can do everything right through this app. So I'm going to press update. Now I'm updating. Very nice. Super See, smooth. Wasn't that easy? So easy. And now we Just all connect it normally. And now we all learned together about <laughs> pairing. And thank you, <laughs> Jacob, husband, cameraman, for reminding me how to use a drone. <laughs> yeah. It's been so long since it got destroyed. It was just, I just, 
you know, blacked out the memory of it, you know, you know, traumatic experience. Yeah, yeah, just... I hear you. <laughs> We're at 62%, guys, so this video is going quick. <laughs> it's happening. We'll just, we'll just wait a second more. We'll fast forward through. Five minutes later. <gasps> Update successful! Hey! There we go. Back at it again. Right on. Update successful. When aircraft automatically powers off, restart aircraft. <laughs> oh, it says go fly. Nice. This, the firmware was successful. It can go fly. It should show the studio here. Ooh. Take off with caution. <laughs> we're not taking off in here. I don't think we're going to take off in here today. Mm. Thank you Fine. so much for watching. <laughs> yeah, awesome. <laughs> Quick video. Have a great day, yeah. and uh, we'll see you next time. See you. Bye.